everybody. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. I'm USA Today bestselling author Hildy McQueen and I write medieval Highlander romance. But on this channel I usually I do mostly uh, memory planning and sometimes I do regular planning where I plan for the week ahead. I do share my writing plans monthly writing plans. I just do all kinds of things, but mostly I do things about writing. And so today I am doing a memory plan for the week of April 10th through the 16th using a kit from the Planner Shack, which is a printable shop. And so I will be sharing what happened this week. But before we get into that, let me just tell you guys that how things are going right now in my planning life and my writing life. I am currently working on the third book of a quartet that will be released starting in June. If you want to stay abreast of my writing and my books and what's coming up, I will put the link down below for my newsletter. Please sign up for that. I send out a newsletter usually once a month. Every once in a while I'll do one twice, but it's, you know, I try, I wish I could do twice a month every month, but the months just kind of go so fast sometimes <laughs> before I realize it's like oh my goodness it's already the middle of the month and I haven't done a newsletter yet so I try to do one usually about that time in the middle of the month and then I want to do one at before the end of the month but yeah I think I have not I've only done that like two or two or three times in the last few months but normally, yeah, I do once a month to let you guys know what's going on as far as my books, what's coming up next. I share snippets, teasers, I sometimes share deleted scenes, all kinds of stuff. So yeah, I would love for you guys to join me there. And I think I also put a link for my, do I do it for my Amazon page? Yeah, I think I do my Amazon page. So you can follow on Amazon as well. They, they're usually pretty good about letting people who follow me know th about my upcoming releases. So that is always a good thing. I am currently fighting, well, me and half of the world, I think, <laughs> we're fighting a spring allergy. So I am taking some mm, Advil cold and sinus and I'm also taking, they gave me antibiotics, but I didn't feel that, I didn't start taking them because she said only take it if I feel like I'm getting worse. And I don't feel like I'm getting worse, but I might start taking them because I don't feel like I'm getting better either. So drinking a lot of liquids and throat lozenges have been my best friends. You know how, I don't know, if you're not on throat lozenges and you haven't taken them for a while, it's like, oh yeah, I don't mind a throat lozenge. But then after you have to like constantly have one in your mouth, you get so sick of them. So I have like three flavors and I'm sick of all three, fla <laughs> all three flavors. Oh uh, yeah. Anyways, other than that, um, things are good. Uh, I have been doing a lot of uh, catch-up work, and that's why I'm still a little bit behind in these um, Plan With Me's. I, I'm two weeks behind, so I hopefully will do another Plan With Me right now as I'm speaking. It's May 4th, so I'm hoping to do two, two videos this week and then have them uh, come up next week so my plan is to have to go up next week so we will see what happens i am hopeful but that's all i can be i'm also behind in my writing so <laughs> behind in everything uh, march was just a rough month i didn't do any writing i traveled a lot which is fun but it's sad that you go on vacation and, and then it messes up with your work schedule and i have more traveling coming up in july and august so your friend Hildy has to get on the ball and get writing accomplished and caught up so that I can go on vacation in August. I'm going to Scotland. My daughter is getting married there and also um, I'm doing a lot of some researching. So I've been to Scotland before, the area that I'm going to before. It's called, it's a little small village called um, Plock Plockton. It's off the shores of Loch. Karen and so I will be there for in Scotland I think almost two weeks I have um, excuse me a lot of writing a lot of researching to do on the Isle of Skye because my next series after this quartet that I'm writing is going to be taking place on the Isle of Skye so I'll be I'll be 
<clears throat> excuse me, traipsing through castles and taking lots of pictures, hopefully getting some interviews done. And of course, like I said, if you follow me on Facebook, I will be sharing uh, a lot of videos and lots of things about Scotland and probably we'll do a sort of um, video kind of come along with me to Scotland type thing that I will upload here as well. So lots of things coming up this year that I am looking forward to, but I don't know how that's going to um, affect my writing schedule. So that's why I really need to stop procrastinating and get on the ball and more focused to get my writing done. Uh, the underlays that I'm using on this kit are so pretty and they are purplish, kind of a holographic purple. And they're like squiggle lines and I got those from Flana Hannah. And I normally make my own underlays, but she was having a sale, I think, of some sort. Um, they're not that expensive. I think they're like $2 a sheet. But So I ordered like uh, three or four sets. And this is one of them. And I wasn't sure which kit I was going to use it with because I don't gravitate towards purple. I like purple. I just don't gravitate towards it. I don't know if you guys heard my husband singing, but I just had to tell him to stop singing. <laughs> anyway, um, like I said, I don't gravitate towards purple, but I do like it. And whenever I do a kit that has purple in it, I end up li really liking the end, you know, the end look. And this kit, it doesn't, look, this doesn't have an overwhelming uh, purple, but it does have a lot of, you know, ju I, I guess they're jewel tones, like a turquoise, a purple, a really pretty blue and a deep pink so it's it's a pretty kit all right well i guess we're gonna start with the day to day of this week it was a pretty lax week i'm not gonna lie it's kind of i wouldn't say it was boring because i don't have boring weeks but when it comes to going back and memory planning it wasn't exactly the kind of week where i had a lot going on every day and i think you'll find that for the next i think well, I don't know if the week after this is kind of look, got a little bit more going on, but this week, not a lot was going on. So Monday was a normal week. I, uh, I did my, you know, I have my Monday, my routines for the house. So I get up usually on Mondays and I throw laundry into the washing machine and then get my tea and then I give the dogs their breakfast and start with my day. And one of the things that I do every Monday is uh, visit my reader group. I come on there and chat a little bit about what's going on, what happened over the weekend, ask a couple questions, things like that. And then I get to work with my administrative stuff that is very repetitive. And I stop putting it on my planner because it's like, I do this every day, so I don't need to put it on my planner anymore. Which is um, check my email, reply to emails, check my sales stats, make sure everything's okay, check my Facebook ads, and post a cup of the day. <laughs> the books that are the quartet that I'm working on right now are the Rogues of the Lowlands. So I did edits on a book that I had gotten back from my editor and started it. Started the edits that day. God, those things look crooked. Did I fix that? I hope I did. Yes, it's okay. <laughs> I was going to say they look kind of crooked. So... In the afternoon, I had to go get some lab work. Hallelujah, I finally remembered because every time I have an annual physical, I always forget to go ahead of time to get the lab work done so that I can, you know, when you show up for your physical, they can tell you, you can discuss your results. And I always forget. Well, this time my doctor's like, let's go ahead and set you up an appointment for your lab work. And that way you come get the lab work and you won't forget because then your appointment for me to go back to the doctor was the following Monday. So I remember to go in there to get my lab work. I was so proud of myself. And then after that, because I hadn't eaten, because you know, I don't think you're supposed to eat before you go get lab work. I wasn't sure, so I didn't eat. Um, so after I left the doctor's office, I went and got myself some McDonald's. And then I um, went back to the optometrist to order some glasses, some a new pair of glasses, because I had just bought two pairs of glasses. I bought my regular glasses and computer glasses, which I'm wearing right now. 
But the regular glasses that I bought were really nice, but they're so heavy that by the end of the day, I, I just couldn't stand them. So I went back and I had to spend more money and order new glasses. Thankfully, they were kind of nice because they're like, well, since you just bought new glasses, we won't charge you for the frames. And then I kept asking them <laughs> to lower the price on this or that. And she went and talked to the doctor and I managed to save from initial price about $200 by the time I walked out. So that was good. So moving on to Tuesday, I got up in the morning and did my stuff, you know, the regular stuff. On Tuesdays, I do not do reader group. I do promotions. So I did that, emails and all that good stuff. Then I went to the doc, to the dentist. I had to get my teeth cleaned. So kind of, a, I guess this was a week, two weeks of routine things. I go to the dentist every two weeks. Oh, look at me sticking the box on the wrong place. I am so lucky that it didn't tear. I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> I was trying to like mimic the the Monday and then I'm like, oh crap, that's not the underlay. Oh, that was funny. Yeah, so anyway, um, I've been going to my dentist. I realized that day the, the girl that cleaned my teeth was like, oh, when did you get blah, blah, blah done? And I said, I don't know. It's been a long time. And she looked at my record. She's like, oh my goodness. I think she said that she was like three years old or two years old when I started going to that dentist. I was like, girl, you do not need to tell me that. <laughs> you know, you feel really old. That was funny. After I left the dentist, I went to Kroger up the street there was something specific I was looking for that they only sell at Kroger, but I can't remember right now what it was. I know that I like to get pimento cheese there, and they have some prep meals there too that the other stores don't have, but I don't remember specifically why I went. But anyway, I went to the Kroger. That afternoon, I had to finish the edits. Well, I didn't have to finish, but I worked again on the edits. And then... Um, I think, yeah, I send the edits off to the editor the following day on Wednesday. So I spent the entire afternoon working on edits and I did sneak in some marketing because that's my promotion day. And I'm giving it the side eye because marketing is not exactly fun. My husband had to take my, our little dog Pippa, who is a black and white chihuahua mix, to the groomer to get her nails trimmed because she hates for us to do it. So yeah, we have to take her to a groomer and pay money because her little tiny butt won't let us trim her nails. I know she turns into like Tasmanian devil. I try to do it myself and I managed to get like two nails cut before she like totally start wiggling really like, like she was having a seizure. <laughs> so I couldn't finish. So that was that. On Wednesday, I had a lot of emails to reply to. So I had been putting it off. I'm like, let me go ahead and make sure that I've replied to all the emails. So I put like a orange flag on the emails that I needed. Like it'll take some time for me to look things up and reply and stuff like that. So I was prepared that day. I'm going to clean my email. Did I clean my email? No. I did reply to some emails. I did delete a bunch. I did check some things but I still need to go back and go through it I have so so much email my husband always when he looks at my email box he's like why do you have so many unread emails like a thousand and I'm like I don't know I just don't want to think about it <laughs> I probably need to check it I don't have a thousand I think like right now I got it. it's pretty good I have 34 unread and then 240 on another account but as far as flag goes, I probably have a thousand flags that I have to go through and some people have probably given up on me. <laughs> uh, so Wednesday, yes, I went to, well, checked in with the reader group because I go in there three times a week. And then in Wednesdays is hunk day. So every Wednesday I put up a picture of a hunk and wish everybody a wonderful hunk day. It's of course a play on hump day. Or is it? <laughs> uh, don't you guys just love that box with a girl on it? I think it's so pretty. I don't know. I'm still out about girls and kids. Some people say they hate them. Other people love them. I don't know. It depends on the kid, I guess. But I really like her. I think it's pretty. 
And oh, look, that day I did my newsletter. So yeah, that's about the middle of the month, so that's about right. And then that afternoon I had a Zoom meeting with my accountability partners. I should put, um, then that evening, I was gonna make something for dinner and I don't remember what, so I had to run and get something from the Walmart market. And then, was that the day? Yes, I watched Night Agent and couldn't stop watching it. And then my husband and I binged it. It was so good. I'm going to tell you this. If you're going to watch Night Agent, if you haven't seen it yet, start early in the day. Or if if you have the kind of self-control that you can stop watching something, then watch it whenever you want to. But if you're the kind of person that something is so good that cliffhanger's not going to let you sleep, then start watching it early, like, you know, 3 o'clock in the afternoon <laughs> or something because it is so good. Everybody I know can't stop watching it. So I went to bed really, really late because we watched Night Agent. So um, that is that. For Thursday was a pretty good day. Uh, well, it was an on and off day. So I have anxiety. And when it, yeah, I don't know, those of you that have anxiety or depression or anything, any of the mental health issues, you know, you don't, you really don't need a reason for when it gets bad. It just happens. So I had been having a little bit of anxiety from the day before, like that whole week. I felt a little off. And so by Thursday, I was <clears throat> pretty much a hot mess. <laughs> so I just kind of didn't do too much. I didn't feel like writing. I didn't want to do anything. I just wanted to kind of sit and stare at the wall. It could have been because... And I can't say it was lack of sleep because I slept in, so I slept well. But I just was kind of having an off day that day. So I started off the day because it's Thursday and by marketing I mean, did some marketing. And yeah, by that I mean like posting a book and links and prompts in my social media. And also double checking for um, newsletters that I can send out, you know, promotional newsletters, that kind of stuff. That happens on Tuesdays and Thursdays and cross promotion with other authors. So I go to those groups and see if I can cross promote. So that kind of stuff. And then, so did some work as usual, my top three things, Facebook post, uh, check my email, review my sales stats and check my ads. So that all got done. Then I uploaded a video, which was the last one that went up, I think. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I uploaded a video to YouTube. And that heart that I just pulled up, it ends up not staying because it... I don't know, that sticker was really weird. When I pulled it up, it just kind of like the um, ink kind of came off and it looked really odd. So I ended up going to getting one from the kit, which works perfect. I uploaded a video and then that, uh, that morning the housekeepers came and for those of you that don't know, one of my goals and uh, my incentives for writing and keeping up my writing is that I was going to have a housekeeper one day and to come do the main, like the bathrooms, the living room and kitchen and I don't care about bedrooms and I can do that. I can do all the house but I wanted somebody to come do that for me to give me more time for writing. And so I achieved my goal about a year ago. So yeah, they come twice a month and do that kind of stuff for me, which is amazing. And it makes me, you know, get motivated about my writing because I know that I'm able to do that and pay them because I write. After that, hubby and I met my friends. We went to Steak and Shake because I meet with them once a week. And I started having really bad anxiety, so I decided I hated my hair. And so hair, I mean, not hair, <laughs> anxiety plus scissors is a bad combination. So needless to say, the next day I had to get up early and go get what I did fixed. <laughs> I decided I could do my own haircut. Oh my God. I look like a dandelion. But you know, when they fixed it and everything, it looked fine. It looked like a... I always had used to have a bob and a, you know a long bob that touches my shoulders and so it's back to that again and when I started my hair was down about past my shoulders so I cut about four inches off anywho yeah that happened um Friday 
I woke up and did my usual work, went to my reader group and chatted in there. I don't I think I posted a picture of my haircut or something. I don't remember. Maybe I did. I'm open about all my, you know, kinds of stuff. So I could never be blackmailed. They could probably say, if you don't pay us money, we'll say this about you. And I'm like, oh, cool. <laughs> I will expand on you what you say about me. <laughs> so the next day I was still kind of anxious. Um, I did take medication for it, but you know, when you have anxiety, it just gets exacerbates at times and you don't know why. So I don't, I don't worry about it much when it happens. I just know that I feel like I can't be still and I need to keep busy doing this and that, but you know, my mind just like won't slow down. So on Friday, I, oh yeah, I, what are those places called? I'm trying to remember. It's up the street, not too far, the hair cuttery or hair world. I don't know what it's called, but anyway, I went to this place and checked in online and you can make an appointment. It's like one of those walk-in places where people go get a haircut. I never go to those because I have a hairdresser that I usually go to, but I didn't want to call her because I think she was out of town. I knew she was on vacation or something. So I was like, I'll just, she can just fix it <laughs> when I go back. So I knew she was going to have a fit, but I, yeah, went to that place. I think it's hair cuttery, but I might be wrong. And the girl's like, oh, actually, you didn't do a very bad job. It's not too bad. It looks okay. And she just kind of evened it out a little bit, and it looked fine. And then, well, I, and I'm also wearing, was wearing it curly, so you can't really tell when you have curly hair if it's not even. Um, I put down the anxiety because it continued, you know. Um, because I had all this extra energy, <laughs> I cleaned up my car, vacuumed it up. And while I was vacuuming a car, this dog comes running up to me, all excited to visit. And I'm like, oh, I don't know who this dog belongs to. And my dog was going crazy. And my husband was out walking the other dog. So I um, caught the dog and I corralled it into my laundry room. And then I'm like, well, I looked on the dog's collar and there was a phone number. So I called the number and nobody answered. I was like, okay, what am I going to do with this dog? So when my husband came back from walking the other dog, he said that their neighbor behind us was looking for him. So he took the dog and took him back to his home. And the little dog was so excited. <laughs> it looked like a puppy. I think it was a puppy. And then that evening I did Zoom TV. So a bunch of, a group of us readers from Coastal Magic watch TV together on Fridays. We usually watch like real, not, what do you call it reality TV? Like the Great British Baking Show or what were we watching? Stand Up to Cancer. It's like the Great British Baking Show, but with celebrities. And we're also watching Crime Scene Kitchen. So it's a lot of fun. On Saturday, I had cleaned the car because we were going on a road trip to Madison, Georgia, which is about an hour and a half away. And so we all climbed up aboard my car. It was four of us, one, two, yeah, five of us that went to meet our friend that moved out from out of, moved out of town. And so we went to the same place we had went before. It's called Farm View Market, where you can eat yummy food, hang out as long as you want. We did a gift exchange because one of the girls was her birthday. Took pictures and just had our grand old time shopping in the little market they have there. So we were there probably a good three hours, maybe. I want to say three, four hours. Because we can talk for hours. It doesn't, you know. We don't see each other for months. And it's like we um, <laughs> act like we haven't seen each other for years. We've got all this catching up to do. It was a lot of fun. It was so nice. It was just what I needed. So that day was perfect. The weather was so nice. The weather has been nice here in Georgia. It's been windy, but, you know warm but springy warm i love it i wish it would stay like that forever i had mississippi pot roast and my friends say either had three of us had mississippi pot roast and three of us had fried chicken with mashed potatoes and the best peach cobbler i've had in a long time oh it was so good 
Stephanie who came along. It was her birthday we were celebrating and I think we were celebrating somebody else's sorta of, kinda of, but I don't know. Yeah, because two people got gifts. So that made it for a very fun day. Then we drove home and talked the whole way home. So the ride was an hour and a half, but it seemed like it was a lot shorter. Everybody went to their own houses and relaxed for the rest of the day, which is what I did. I watched television. I started watching the show called The Clinic. I'm not sure if I watched it, but it's really good. It's also a Brit uh, Irish show. Okay. Then, um, let's see, Sunday, 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 yes, went to church on Sunday. Service starts around 10, and it's around 11, 15, 11.30. And after that, we usually go eat, and today, on this day, we went to this place downtown called Nacho Mama's. <laughs> and, yeah, they make really good nachos, burritos, that kind of stuff. I had nachos, they were really good, with black beans and chicken and guacamole, all that stuff. And then my friend and her husband met us. So it was my husband, me, my two friends, and then my other, our other friend and her husband met us. And we went for a walk downtown, maybe two blocks, just because we were going to go look at this one building. We, we were hoping this one shake place was open, but it wasn't. So we walked over there. Then for some reason, we stood in front of the closed shake shop and talked for like 15 minutes and then walked back to our cars. It was a perfect day for it. I came back home and I had these little baby maple trees that I've been trying to grow from this Japanese maple next door, but they keep dying because the squirrels eat them. So I repotted them and put, brought them in the house to put by the window in the dining room. It's all windows and once it's like two walls are all windows. So plants love it in there. So I brought them inside. They're flourishing. They're doing good. Then I filmed another video. You would think I uploaded one, filmed one. I should be caught up, but I guess I'm so behind that. I haven't caught up yet. And then finally, I did TV time. Yay, me, because I was pooped from the week of doing anxiety and traveling. <laughs> so that was my week. It was a lot of fun. And thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, follow me on Facebook and um, sign up for my newsletter so you guys can find out more about my books and everything. On the sidebar, I did put time with gal pals as my memory. And then my other memory I did was anxiety issues because that happened. <laughs> so once again, thank you and enjoy the rest of your week and happy reading.